Praises to Yahuwah, the Elohim of Israel. I give you thanks for allowing us to go through the six days of toil and labor. And to acknowledge his Sabbath at this time. I want to pray that Yahuwah will direct my thoughts this evening so that the things that he placed on my mind, I'll be able to present it. We are now a 
approximately an hour and 30 minutes into your creation Sabbath of the fourth and last quarter of the ninth biblical lunar month Kislev 29 the six working days ended approximately an hour and 30 minutes ago and I am here to declare that your Sabbath falls on Fridays on Rome's Gregorian calendar for the ninth month of Kislev. And uh, this is the last and for the fourth and last Sabbath of the ninth biblical lunar month, Kislev 29. So, the six working days ended and your Sabbath has begun. I also want to, to make a note also that it has now been one lunar year And uh, it was eight days, one lunar year, and eight days since Grandmaster Jay's freedom has been taken away. And uh, so it is your servant of the fourth quarter of the moon of the ninth biblical lunar month. He slept 29th, 6008. And it is also one lunar year now. And this is would be in the ninth days because the, 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 the 23rd of this, of the 20, the third, the third of December has begin, begun since the setting of the sun so it is one lunar year and nine days since grandmaster j first and second amendment right has been taken away from this system and as i think about this I realize that the history of Israel is being repeated through Grandmaster Jay and the way he has been treated as well as how yours Hebrews Israelite people have been treated by this system the same system that enslaved our Hebrew ancestors and the same system that commanded the Hebrew babies, boy babies to be killed by the midwives in Egypt and also to be thrown in the river Nile. It is the same system that existed when Yahushua the Messiah was born in Bethlehem when Herod commanded that all the boy babies two years and under should be killed but as the word of Yah tells us that the Yahuwah appeared unto Yoshif and told Yoshif 
to take the child into Egypt to flee for its life to escape death so what is happening to us as a Hebrew nation even though we are not a nation at this time is nothing new there is nothing new under the sun and so the command Yah saw the affliction of his people in Israel and he called Moses to go to Pharaoh and to let Israel go and if you refuse to let my people go say Yahuwah I will send plagues and the, the call is still the same at this time Yah saw that his Hebrew black people have been murdered by the system murdered on the streets murdered in their homes and no and no one in the system pay attention and so families are left without their fathers and their mothers our hebrew men are falsely imprisoned for crimes they did not do and so your call grandmaster day j who put what you would call boots on the ground and go to the authority to see justice for Yah's Hebrew people. But instead of giving Yah's people justice, they falsely lay hand on Grandmaster J, just like they did to Yahusha when they lied upon him and take him to Pilate Judgment Hall and ended up ended up killing him but as we know that it was ordered by Yahuwah and so I know that we are anxious at this time for our Hebrew King Yah's anointed servant to be set free so that he can carry out the exodus of Yah's people but this same Pharaoh system refused to drop the charges. This same Pharaoh system refused to come to a conclusion and to let Grandmaster Jay go so that he can gather Yah's people for the second exodus but we are not afraid at this time because we know the end from the beginning because Yahuwah has revealed it to us and so we will not fear because Yahuwah has promised Yahuwah has promised that Israel will be free and I'm going to turn the pages and look at a few a few verses that will bring us cheer because we know that Israel Israel is destined for restoration Israel is destined to be saved and Israel is destined to return to their own land Isaiah 14 1 it says but Yahuwah will have mercy but Yahuwah will have mercy on Jacob and will yet trust Israel 
and set them in their own land. The strangers will be joined with them and they will cleave to the house of Jacob. So, Yahuwah people Israel is destined for restoration and we need not fear though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea I'm going to look at Jeremiah 30 verse 3 Jeremiah 30 verse 3 The beauty is that Yahuwah does not leave his people in darkness. Everything is written. And if we study ourselves, study the word to show ourselves approved unto Elohim, we need not fear because we know exactly what Yahuwah has on his program for his people Israel okay Jeremiah 30 verse 3 for behold the days are coming says Yahuwah that I will bring back the captivity my people Israel and Judah and Yahuwah says Yahuwah Let's see, read it again. For behold, the day is coming, says Yahuwah, that I will bring back from captivity my people Israel and Judah, says Yahuwah, and I will cause them to return to the land which I gave their fathers, and they will possess it. So, as we can see, we do not need to fear because Yahuwah promised to restore us. If I read further in, 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 uh, in here, it says, For this is what Yahuwah says, We have heard a voice of trembling and of fear but not of peace and ask now and see can a man give birth to the ch to a child why then do i see every man with his hand on his line like a woman in labor and every face turned pale it says Alas, because that day is, a, is great and that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he will be saved from it. So what we are going through now as a, as a race, your promise that we will be saved out of it. He says, for it will come to pass in that day, says Yahuwah of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off your neck and burst your bonds and strangers will no longer be served by him. But they will serve Yahuwah their Elohim and David their king, whom I will raise up to them. There and and David, their king, whom I will raise up to them. It says, Therefore, do not fear, O my people, O my servant Jacob, says Yahuwah, nor dismayed, 
Discourage, O Israel. Behold, I will save you from afar and your seed from the land of captivity. Jacob will return and will have rest and be quiet, secure, and no one will make him afraid. Verse 11 says, For I am with you, says Yahuwah, to save you, though I make a, a full end of the nations where I have scattered you. Yet I will not make a full end of you, but I will correct you in measure and with justice and let not and will not leave you altogether unpunished. So, Yahuwah promised to save Israel. Yahuwah promised that those who oppress the nations that have been oppressing us, oppressing Israel, Yahuwah will make a full end of them. And so, let us not fear. What Grandmaster Jay is going through is ordered by Yahuwah. What Grandmaster Jay is going through is ordered by Yahuwah. When Moses went to Pharaoh to let, to command that he let Israel go, Pharaoh refused. And Pharaoh did not refuse and it's on his own. The scripture tells us that it was Yahuwah who hardened the heart of Pharaoh. So it is Yahuwah who allowed this system to be holding Grandmaster Jay. And I believe is to show the world what this system is capable of. And also to send the plague and destruction upon the land. The plagues are pouring out on the, on the people and the lands are being destroyed. Daily, daily, there are countries that are engulfed with water and earthquake and tornadoes and people are without, the, without homes, their, their life, property, business, farm are all underwater. Yet this system eyes remain closed and do not realize that it is a judgment from Yahuwah for all the oppression and the atrocities that they have put Yah's people under. So let's not be afraid. Let's know that yeah, uh, our end will be triumphant. Yahuwah will be with Israel again. I think it is, is it Jeremiah that tells us that there won't be any need for anyone to correct anyone because all the earth will be full with the knowledge of Yahuwah. Let me, let me check it out. The earth will be full with the knowledge of Yahuwah. I'm going to see. Jeremiah. Let's look. Jeremiah 31. And let us look at 34. Yes. It says. And they shall no longer teach every man his neighbor. And every man his brother. Instructing them, know Yahuwah, 
for they will all know me from the least of them to the greatest, says Yahuwah. For I will forgive their iniquities and I will remember their sins no more. This is what Yahuwah says. Who gives the sun for light by day and the ordinance of the moon and the stars for the light by night who stir up the sea and its waves roar Yahuwah of hosts is his name if these if those ordinances depart from before me says Yahuwah men then the seed of Israel, wow, this is strong. Then the seed of Israel will cease from being a nation before me. So Yahuwah based his promise to save Israel upon the moon and the stars. Isn't this awesome? If these ordinances depart from me, says Yahuwah, then the seed of Israel will also cease from being a nation before me. This is what Yahuwah says. If the heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth beneath search out, exploded, then I will cast off all the seed of Israel because of all that they have done, says Yahuwah. All right. So, Yahuwah promised Israel salvation. And Yahuwah has taken an oath upon the sun and the moon and the star as ordinances. And I'm coming to... I'm coming to the end of uh, of this thing because I only have 30 minutes. But our destiny is certain Israel. And all we need to do is to walk in the statues of Yahuwah and keep his laws. We see why Rome's Christianity have taught the world that yours laws are nailed to their cross because Rome full well realized that if we walk in yours law then we are safe and we are secure so let us return to yours laws and let us keep your Sabbath and remember his Sabbath day and keep it holy. Yahuwah promised that Israel will become one stick and one nation. So let us begin to keep Yah's laws and remember that Yahuwah has promised. To bring us back into our own land. The land that has have been stolen from us. Because of the disobedience and rebellion. Of our ancestors. Oh here is what Ezekiel is saying right here. Ezekiel 36 I be believe it says. And they shall dwell in the land that I gave their fathers and shall be my people and I will be their Elohim. I will also save you from all your uncleanness and I will call for the corn and I will increase it and I will and 
lay no famine upon you and I will multiply the fruit of your tree and increase your field that ye shall receive no more reproach of famine among the heathen. Then he will remember your own evil ways and your doings that were not good and shall load yourselves in your own sight your iniquities and your abominations not for your sake do i do this says yahuwah elohim be it known unto you be ashamed and be confounded for your own ways o house of israel so it is your sabbath and Yahuwah promised to redeem his people, Israel. And Israel have nothing to fear except disobedience. And I want it to be known that Yahuwah will keep his promise to his people, Israel. And Grandmaster Jay will be safe. Because no harm can come to him unless Yahuwah permits it. So let us remember your Sabbath day to keep it holy. Let us be obedient to him. Just like Isaiah 1, verses 19 and 20 says, If he be willing and obedient, he shall eat the good of the land. But if he refuse and rebel, he shall be devoured by the sword. Yes, let us bear it in mind that this is the fourth and last Sabbath of the ninth biblical lunar month Kislev 29th 6008 and also let us bear in mind, keep it in our minds that today is one lunar year and nine days since the, since this Rome system has removed, has taken away Grand Master Jay's First and Second Amendment right. And let us be assured that they only do this because Yahuwah allow them to. Happy Sabbath. Let us be obedient. Let us remember that if we are willing and obedient, we will eat the good of the land. But if we refuse and rebel, we'll be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of Yahuwah has spoken it. Shalom, shalom.